I've been um, a woe and um, I haven't been doing much of anything. Um, I haven't been doing much of anything so let's just say that I'm using this opportunity to just get back into it I suppose I, 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 I saw I don't know who oh I will remember her name she she gave me an idea not like I got something from watching her videos I think she more or more so more or less she's always busy so instead of like not doing a lot of videos what she does is to come live so and after coming live she just uploads the live session so it's like okay um you know it's done it's done and it's done so yeah um i don't even know how this thing works <laughs> i don't even know how it works okay um welcome my name is chacha wabara and um if if you're just joining us what we do here are movie reviews you know basically nigerian movies korean movies Turkish movies, European movies, Hollywood. Um, well, yeah, I said Nigerian movies. And then any other movie, you know, that we want to share with you. And, um, you know, I want to share with you. I don't know why I keep saying we. I want to share with you. I think maybe, let's just say it's quite, it's really popular. I will share them with you. I will talk about them with you. I will discuss them with you as it affects me or as, you know, i am affected by that movie that drama so here it goes thank you so much for joining thank you thank you ah let's do this <laughs> oh god um this is my first live and i think i'll be doing it this way so that you know i'm sure everyone is tired of, of me people have forgotten me because i do not upload um the movies or the dramas as they are you know coming out so it feels like i'm always behind so i think i will just um just use these live sessions to just keep uploading so i can just because i know that i see a lot of these dramas these movies the same day they are out so you know most times after seeing these dramas these movies i end up reviewing them like two three months after that so it feels like ah, oh she's always bringing up something that you know what you know we've all gone past you understand so i'll just be coming live i'll just be going live anytime and don't forget for, forgive the flakes here i did um umbra brows so um still in the stages the still healing so we're in the peeling stage now so there's nothing i can do about it Forgive my no no makeup um, face. Let's just be going. If you haven't, um, please show your support by, you know, hitting on the um, like button. Um, we will do a lot of things. Let's just run this thing. So today we'll be reviewing. Um, it's the top of the chat now on Netflix. Top 10. Um, sex life mm. i think last year last year um season one came out and i didn't see it okay i instead jumped to the steamy side so it wasn't really making sense to me and then like okay but um yesterday i saw that it was um ranking high on netflix top 10 and a lot of people were really talking about it. So I decided to, you know, go in and see what's up. Now, if you haven't seen Sex Life, um, it has to do with, if you start from season one, 
it has to do with this girl. Her name is Billy. She is um, a psychologist. Um, she, she majored in psychology. She's married. She's supposedly happily married with two kids. That was how the um, the drama started with two kids, um, a perfect husband, loving family, um, the type that people dream about, the type that people envy. So she's nursing her little baby and um, she's, she has the life she has the life people other people dream about she she has the life that people envy and but then she notices or she begins to feel really empty you know like that life is not enough but you will see this drama what you know they were concentrating on more or less was um of objectivity sex as objectivity objectifying sex like she she wasn't not like i won't say satisfied with her sex life with her husband it's just like she just felt like everything had become um not necessarily mundane but that everything had become hmm there was no buzz there there was no chemistry okay there was chemistry but you know there was no electricity there was no tingle and then she began to you know think about her ex brad now brad <laughs> i'm jumping ahead of myself now you know she started thinking about her ex way 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 too much comparing her time with her ex not necessarily the time but you know thinking about what she shared with her ex you know which was entirely different from what she had with her husband you know they had settled you know they just had this routine and um, everybody was just doing that thing and she wasn't satisfied anymore she wasn't happy deliriously happy she wasn't um she felt it wasn't enough so she began to write about it on you know a journal on her laptop in her laptop so she would talk about her sexual experiences with her ex she would you know fantasize about it um and she would try to see if she can you know rev up you know um this, her sex life with her husband and uh, my husband would well he, he wasn't really noticing at first but then he was always tired he would go to the he would go into the city new york he would go to work he will come back he wasn't cheating he was successful he was a successful financier he was dedicated he was a dedicated husband and father but you know he, he and he felt like he had it all he had it all in the sense that he had he was in love with his wife he was he was a proud father and he just felt like he didn't need to work for it and that whatever it was that they had planned you know before they got married that they had it all so there was no need you know doing what it was they were doing before they settled down before they got married you know they had the life so it, it, they were living so he didn't feel like you know there was something to spice up or there was anything missing for him billy was more than enough you know billy was billy for him billy was the love of, of his life and of course too um billy was coming from um a life or a single life when she was single she had a lot of sexual experience and um she had a um, high libido so he hadn't had half of the experience that billy had had and billy did, never told him about her other experience never even mentioned brad to him who would in the first place how many people mentioned their exes to their husbands so you know um everyone came as a packaged deal into the marriage and so um cooper rather did not notice that anything was wrong and there billy was billy started feeling um 
dissatisfied with the whole uh, marriage thing. Yes, she loved her children. She loved the life. She loved, um, I don't know, she, the, the embodiment of Cooper, her husband, was stability for her. She loved the stability, the protection that Brad couldn't give to her. But what she missed with Brad was the spontaneity. Let me not bite my tongue. You know, the spontaneous um, reaction to things. There was chemistry. There was life. There was everything in the relationship. So, you know, um, at such a time as when, um, <laughs> you know, it was a lot of emotion, a lot of feeling in the relationship. Um which she wanted to feel again, you know, irrespective of the fact that Brad had, you know, broken her heart or, you know, hurt her in different ways, so many ways. And then she has a best friend, Sasha Snow. Sasha Snow is a doctor, um, an academic doctor, a psychology doctor who is an emancipated feminist who is independent to the core, who is um, adventurous, who has her back, who has her support. And um, both of them are best of friends. So um, everything that she is undergoing or she's passing through, of course, Sasha knows. And now, so this movie, this drama has eight episodes in season one and it shows how the how um i'm still in, i'm still in season one it shows how C cooper read billy's diary okay he read billy's diary and decided to act out <laughs> those fantasies of billy but instead of making things okay, it sort of um, made things worse because that wasn't Cooper. And Cooper started to doubt the whole relationship, doubt the marriage. And he started thinking that Billy was seeing Brad by the side. Meanwhile, Billy discovered that Brad, you know, um, was hooking up with Sasha. Now, when she met, when Brad and Billy met after some time, or you know, in Sasha's apartment, whatever it was that was gone for eight years was like you know that you know it started all over again, and then Brad started calling her, and then uh, Cooper started you know. Cooper started um, putting, uh, you know, he, he went out of his way to look for who Brad is and saw that Brad was no just one <laughs> guy by the side. That Brad is an accomplished um, record label producer, I think, and he is rich and he is handsome and he is everything that he isn't and that really dealt with his ego as well so he, he you know it, brad wasn't someone that he would say okay i'm better than him he saw that brad was brad held his place as well so you know the uncertainty grew and the suspicion grew and um you know their marriage was really not good after some time and of course um billy on her own end was was questioning everything she wanted from the marriage if she wanted to be with with cooper or if she wanted to be with brad and of course now that brad had seen her brad you know came to propose to her in her husband's house <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord! So um, Billy is um, a trust between the devil and the deep blue sea. She loves her kids. She doesn't want a broken home. As a matter of fact, she wanted to build a home. 
you know, have a husband, have the passion, have her success, you know, as a doctor of psychology, have the children with Brad. But at that time, Brad had several issues. Brad was, you know, a no-no person when it came to, you know, commitment. And even when she took in for Brad and lost the baby, that was the beginning of the end. And so Brad, sorry about the noise and all that. Um, so, and so Brad, you know, broke up with her and, you know, sent her out of the apartment. So she was well aware of who Brad is. And for Brad to come now and say he wants her and he wants to get married to her while she's still with her husband, it was a decision. It was something she knew she wouldn't en entertain. She struggled to um, manage her marriage and to see how they can move from that, that, that cliff to, you know, sanity to... Um, you know, to their safe cocoon before this whole thing happened. And Brad in his own, sorry, Cooper in his own way was trying his best. Cooper, you know, started to become so angry. And then we have Cooper's f f best friend, Devon, and his wife, Trina. Um, those ones too <laughs> had their own issue, but they sought they sought to solve their marital problems with um, having um, orgies, or, orgies and um, sex parties and all of that and multiple partners. And so when they noticed that Cooper and um, Billy were having issues, they were like, okay, this is what we do. And but that singular thing of go attending that party even made things worse at the end of the night of that day i'm not going to go into everything we're not this i'm not telling you the story just trying to review it we'll get to the review in a bit now and um at the end of that night it was plain to see that uh, something had gone something had left that marriage um and but they kept on billy cooper they both kept on trying to desperately you know like a broken mirror put the pieces together but you would just see the cracks and the energy the the the, the emotional trauma that 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 was you know causing and um i'll say that um it was a wonderful it was a wonderful drama because when I started, when I started, I, I wanted to know if it was just, you know, just steamy, steamy, steamy. But yeah, one thing about this drama was that it, 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 it gave, it gave some sort of understanding of what marriages, you know, um, some marriages, you know, some phases marriages go and you know pass through. Um, the, 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 of course, the passionate side, the, the romantic side, the honeymoon time, you know, and then the settle, the settling, and then the routine, and then the habit, and then, you know, what we call sea finish, you know, the over familiarity begins to come to play. And then um, it, it, it's not left for you to know if you want to stay in that space or you want to move past that space or if you you know you and your partner are going to move past that phase or that you know space together or you know individually you know it just depends on how you want to do it so um i started season one yesterday and then um, as early as 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I'm done with season one. I'm going into season two. It, 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 it showed the gradual, you know, one thing about this drama was that, you know, it didn't just move from this to that, from this to that. You know, it wasn't like magic. You could see the process. You could see the emotional growth of the 
of the characters of Billy, of Brad. Brad was exceptional. Of Cooper, as he went through all that psychological trauma, he went into drugs, he started drinking, started doubting himself, things he would not ordinarily do. He actually left the marriage, you know, he walked out and he asked for divorce because he, for him, he said Billy was the love of his life. And he, what killed him was that he wasn't Billy's, you know, love, like it wasn't the love of Billy's life. And I was someone else. And he could see it. it was clear to see as clear as night and day and he just he just couldn't understand why someone that he obviously obviously liked you know and loved and wanted to you know live with forever was not in that space with him and he just couldn't you know wrap his head around but one thing i found tiring about the the drama was that, you know, there was a lot of back and forth, you know, back and forth in the sense that, you know, even though they tried to effortlessly swing in from the past into the few, into the present, from the past into the present, you know, I, I would have told that, you know, um, the, the flashbacks, though good, would have, I, I just wished that, you know, they would have just have brought it you know, told the story throughout, you know, until the present. And then we're dealing with just the present instead of, you know, going back from, going back from. At some point, I think all the flashbacks had ended. So it, be, it became repetitive. But, you know, because the storyline, the plot was heavy. The plot was intact. You know, it, 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 the plot held that those flashbacks in place even though i would have um felt i you know would have thought that or wished that you know that done everything it won't have been too much of flashbacks but you know it would have just been you know acting out the scene till the present and then going with it but then because the plot like i said was strong had a good foundation they were able to bring it but then that was something because the back and forth was it wasn't confusing as it was stressful for me because you're talking about what happened in the past you're bringing it but fine they would say they, they were trying to explain but it wasn't necessary but then the other thing I did not like about it, I think it's just because the the drama was too good. It was just too good. It was too realistic. It was too realistic because it's like, you know, based on the book, you know, that this um, drama was acted on, based on the book, the book, I think, should be a collective experience of different people because it was so thing it was it was too it was real okay and it hit the nail but then when um brad and billy got back together like for real for real um it was short and then they did not explain because if you are taking time not necessarily too much time but you took some time to explain um brad's um brad's um uh, relationship with Gigi, um you know the mother who was pregnant for brad and had the child and before the before she gave birth brad married her and all of that if you took the time to introduce the character Gigi in you should have taken that time and you know he built up the character build up the relationship and all that you should have taken the time to show why she lost interest and why she wasn't in the picture yes we know they broke up but why exactly at least that should have accounted for maybe seven episodes now the eight episode should have shown because it was too short if you talked about how um billy and um brad were always not uh, you know on the same page you see that one person is ready when the other person is not ready or the other person is ready and then this other person has moved on to the next relationship then uh, um you should have taken time to show how 
you know they got back together just like time was given for sasha snow and cam um you know when they got back together and you know the process they went through and um how sasha ran after cam you know when he was about to leave for asia so if you are taking that much time because you have been taking time it's all it has been all about billy and brad from episode one season one right up to you know episode six yeah season two so if you are taking that time to talk about Brad, Billy, Brad, Billy. Then you should have talked about how they got back together. The plans when Brad made up his mind to say, you know what? I'm just going to, you know, come back to, you know, I'm just going to hook up, you know, make up with Billy and I will marry Billy and all of that. So they just glossed over the whole thing in six minutes. And I wasn't I wasn't finding it funny at all. I don't think there will be season three because I don't know what they want to act again. I don't know what's there to say. Sasha has settled down. Billy and and uh, Brad have I don't know, they've settled down, they've gotten married. Billy is pregnant and so but it was it was amazing it it, it it was more real than 50 shades of gray i would say more real than than um 365 days and its sequels it was it was illuminating it was educating it was reverting it was it was it is a drama as i know i will see again and again i will see it again i have saved it it's in my list i will see it again it is um a drama that i would encourage anyone to see uh, irrespective of your um status if you're single married whatever as long as you're an adult it, it, it gives you insight you know um a lot of a lot of people rush into marriage because of age because of time because of societal um uh, expectations because of family expectations as well but is that what you want at that time is that what you want is that something that you are ready for and the person that you are you have in mind at that time or maybe you're seeing is that person actually the person that you really 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 want to you know settle down with at the end of the day not just because everyone is you know getting married everyone is settling down is that is that what you want so this drama this um, sex life don't let the don't let the um name um confuse you or you know make you think yeah it has a lot of um x-rated scenes and all of that but the underlying message is 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 so strong is is, is so it's so it's it's monumental it's something that we need to catch like there is no there is no lateness in watching this drama because you begin to learn a lot you know a lot of people question um their choices and you begin to see things you ordinarily would not see if you had you know waited to be able to be sure of what you want and you begin to make uh, you begin to question your choices when you feel that you know that thing that you left you 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 have an unfinished business or there's something missing so if if you say okay um i'm marrying this person because um this person will give me all the protection all the um security i want then you should just stick there if you're marrying this person because he's so handsome he's so this be able to be ready to know that you know he won't be handsome and all that forever like i don't know this old age i don't know there's this test of time so what is it about someone that you're settling down with is it the security like billy billy liked that um brad sorry that cooper was ready to settle down and not only that cooper was a family man like cooper like built a house like i want my family He's, he was family oriented something that brad 
you know, wasn't and because of the history of how his father left him when he was eight years old and all that. So Brad was flighty. Brad couldn't settle. Brad was was in Sasha's um, um according to Sasha's description, it was damaged in quote. You know, so for him to be able to make the relationship work, um, Billy told him, Go see your father, go, you know, look for your father do whatever it is just sort yourself out before you come back and instead of him to come back with you know i've seen my dad this is it this is it he comes back and he tells her that you see you you're just full of it you know you're just not it at all just leave leave just get out of my life so um the stability that billy did not have in a relationship with with brad she sought it in cooper and cooper had that stability cooper had that 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 thing that cocoon that she wanted you know that protect me keep me let me feel assured kind of thing but you know at some point too she felt that that would be enough you know but at some point she just started feeling empty so this drama teaches us a whole lot of things and um i'll be rating this drama hmm, i'll be rating this drama a nine over ten just like i said i would have given it a ten over ten but you know the flashbacks back and forth was um, a bit um, confusing it wasn't confusing but you know i would have preferred it to be you know not all over the place per se you know because like I said, I would have seen this drama, season one of it last year. But because I just kept on seeing some flashbacks, so I just felt like it was a figment of my imagination. Like this guy was in, you know, in existence. Because at the time I was watching it, it was like child's play. I just couldn't, it wasn't just what I wanted at that time. So I missed it. And you know, missing such a good story, it, it, it's not funny and um it took me just one day to see season one it took me it took me a few uh, yeah one day to see season one and um 10 hours to see season two less than 10 hours anyway so um it was that good it was that good and if you haven't seen it um, i would encourage you to see it this is my first live so the one is here but um I will be consistent and I know with consistency brings results. So um, thank you so much when you watch this. Thank you for um, watching this um, live, this video. And um, hmm, I think I will be giving more videos um, every day now um through live sessions through life um through uh, you know through my life videos because when i do that it's longer and i can you know adequately talk about a drama and then end the life and then come back so most of these um dramas that most of the, of my videos will be longer 30 minutes 40 minutes 50 minutes talking about just one drama because i want to be exhaustive i don't want to be doing short um videos anymore and i w just want to you know be live life be going live is better for me i don't have to you know start to make up and all that i don't want to just think of making up and doing all that anymore this is just i'm just reviewing movies so i don't want to be I don't want to go full glam and um, miss the whole essence of what this channel is all about. So um, thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you so much. Ah, it was a win, big win. <laughs> I obsessed about this for, um, I decided to go live um, four hours ago and um, by 8 p.m., I was just, I wasn't sure I was going to do it. And um, I'm so glad I'm able to do it. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come your way. Yeah. 
um i'll be back tomorrow with more live sections like a live videos live what 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 to review past nigerian movies and past korean chinese dramas that have been piling up so um the, the the sessions will be 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes i'm done i upload i'm done i upload that's how i want to do it now so thank you once again for doing this with me thank you thank you thank you bye see you again bye bye